But first, we're going to start with the Swamp Rabbit Trail expanding, and Greenville wants to hear from you about it. It's a multi-use trail, 20 miles long now, that past rivers and green space, but they're going to change it soon. 7 News' Kimberly Brown's been reporting this story for us today. She's standing by live. Kim. Gordon, Amy, you know, we are here at McAllister Square where the meeting is going on at this hour. It's pretty much standing room only, and it is the first opportunity that the city and the county, they are giving the public a chance to come in and to share their ideas and to see the plans. For William and Sabrina McKinney, visiting the Swamp Rabbit Trail near Cleveland Park is a treat. We just had a little bit of time off today. Um, wanted to take a moment to get a little exercise in here. It's an activity hundreds of upstate residents do each week. From biking on the trail alone or with a companion or with a child to walking our four-legged friends on a clear day. It's the kind of activities the city and county wants to expand. So we really see this as a unique opportunity um, given that it goes through an area with a decent amount of development already, great proximity to downtown. The current trail ends in Cleveland Park, but expands more than 20 miles from the Reedy River to Traveler's Rest. With the pending expansion of the trail by 4.5 miles, those who walk it will follow the path that leads through Nickeltown, Verde, past Interstate 85, and ultimately ending at the International Center for Automotive Research near Lawrence Road. I enjoy this part of it. Um, you know. Come to your neighborhood and get out there and try it out. See what you think. For officials, safety is priority for those using the trails. Greenville City and County deputies have officers dedicated to patrolling the trails in cars, on bikes, and on foot. However, as the trail continues to grow, so will the conversations about safety. Um, we really see what we're doing here with this master plan is to kind of um, supplement and really take to the next level. Um, the planning and vision for that area. Again, this is the first meeting for the public to come out and to weigh in and to see some of the plans that have already been put in place or either the proposed plans, I should say. It is pretty much standing room only, so a lot of people came out to see and to give their opinions. It started at 5.30, will go on until 7.30. We are live at McAllister Square off of Pleasantburg Road. Come out if you want to see what's happening. We'll keep you posted on the upcoming and pending meetings that will happen before the end of the year. Reporting live in Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. All right, Kim, any information about upcoming meetings, of course, would be on WSPA.com. We can also tell you Greenville's hired a company called Urban Places to develop the master plan for that phase of the trail.